you besties so what I'm gonna be doing today is sort of an update video on my Cricut chip bag um, because I have been getting a lot of requests about this and if you can even do it and I just wanted to just, just sort of uh, reiterate how this chip bag works because it is going to be different than the standard chip bag that you would do in like Photoshop or Publisher, Word, and any of those software. So it is going to be smaller and the one that I am using, I'm using a bag inside of it. So for this particular bag, I am going to do it as a candy bag. So one that you can sort of feel at a candy station instead of it being um, just an open bag. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and then we will go ahead and get it printed and assembled. So I'm going to pull out my calculator and uh, how I make my measurements for my bag is I have 9.25 which is uh, the width of my bag. I want to divide that by 2 and I get 4.625. So here if you look I have this middle part is 4.625 by it should be 6.75. And then what I do for the two sides is I divide this by 2. So each of the sides is going to be 2.31. So basically take a square and then I'm going to change the dimensions to 2.31. Okay. And then I'm going to make the height 6.75. So then I will move this piece all the way over and then I have this piece here that I want to duplicate and then I want to put this on this side. So this is how I got my foil chip bag and this is how I get the side measurements. So I hope that helped you guys out with um, how, you know, basically how I do the measurements and such. Um, I am going to just set this up the way that I had it on there. So now I will go ahead and flatten, I will go to make it. Okay, so I have my printout right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add tape all across the um, print. This is what the bag looks like prior to inserting it. Since this is done in Cricut, you can also do a score line to make this part a little easier. It really is just up to you. Okay, so I'm just doing a slight little, I'm just doing a slight fold 
so I know where I'm going to insert my bag. I'm gonna start with the top and just make sure my bag is all the way to the top. And then I'm going to, there is a little bit of extra space in there, as you can see, but that's really no, no real concern. And then I'm gonna fold down. And you can pull this up and readjust it too. They're not like, once they're in place, that's it. And then I will fold this part over. There's a very little overlap, like very little. So, okay. So that is pretty much all that you do. Okay, so this just looks like, you know, a standard chip bag, but then you can open it and you have your resellable bag in there. So that's why I was saying like it would be really good for candy stations and such. And so now I will go ahead and use my crimper. So I wanted to show you guys how, you know, basically you can make this into um, a treat bag. It has a whistle, nerds, Play-Doh, one of these like little prisms, um, carnival. This one is already, you know, closed up. So, you know, you can, you can make them into regular treat bags as well, especially if you do them in Publisher or Photoshop and use the bags, um, you can make them even bigger. So just another way for you to do, you know, personalize your party. I'm going to tag crafts of a different shade up in the right hand corner. She is the one who kind of gave me the inspiration to do the treat bags um, this way. And she does her larger bags with the um, bag inside as well. So you may get some inspiration from her channel as well. So I will go ahead and tag her. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.